Good morning, grade 6. Today our lesson is chapter 11. It's about order of operations. So open your book page 118 to 124 and let's begin. First of all, we want to know that there are two families of operations, addition and multiplication. As we see in the picture, we have two families of operations. We have the addition and subtraction and we have the multiplication and the division. These are two separated families. The addition and the subtraction rank equally. The multiplication and the division also rank equally. 1. Expressions without parentheses. In a expression without parentheses containing just addition and subtraction, we perform the calculations from left to right. For example, let's see. If we have a equal 27 minus 3 plus 5, we have only subtraction and addition so we're going to perform the calculation from left to right first of all we calculate 27 minus 3 the answer is 24 we take down the plus 5 then we calculate 24 plus 5 equal 28 let's see another example b equal 49 minus 25 minus 14 we have only subtraction so we're going to perform the calculation from from left to, la to right so 49 minus 25 equal 24 minus 14 equals 10 so b equals 10 this this is how we're going to do the operation if we have only addition and subtraction we're going to perform from left to right let's see another example c equal 52 plus 27 minus 8 first of all we're going to do 52 plus 27 equal 79 minus 8 equals 71 so we're going to perform from left to right because only we have addition and subtractions now in an expression without parentheses containing just multiplications and divisions what we're going to do we perform also the calculations from left to right let's see an example a equals 18 divided by 2 times 3 so we're going we have only division and multiplication so we're going to perform the calculation from left to right 18 divided by 2 equals 9 times 3 equals 27 so a equals 27 let's see another example b equals 6 times 5 divided by 3 so also we're going to perform from left to right because we have only multiplication and division so 6 times 5 equals 30 30 divided by 3 equals 10 Now let's see the third example. C equals 18 divided by 2 divided by 3. So we're going to start from left to right. 18 divided by 2 equals 8 divided by 3 equals 3. That's it. Now let's see. In an expression without parentheses, we start by performing the multiplications and the divisions. Then we perform the additions and the subtractions in the shown order from left to right. So if we have an expression and we have multiplication and division and addition and subtractions, we're going to start with the multiplications and divisions first. Then we're going to perform the additions and the subtractions. Let's see an example. A equals... 5 plus 3 times 5 we have addition and we have multiplication we're going to start with the multiplication so we write 5 plus and we solve the multiplication equals 15 then we're going to perform the addition 5 plus 15 equals 20 that's it let's see another example b equals 27 divided by 3 plus 5 27 divided by 3 we're going to start with the division 
because we should start with multiplications and divisions. So we're going to start with the division. 27 divided by 3 equals 9 plus 5 equals 14. Now let's see the third example. C equals 57 minus 35 divided by 5. So we have subtractions and we have division. We're going to start with what? With the division. So we're going to copy 55 and solve the division. 35 divided by 5 equals 7. Now 57 minus 7 equals 50. That's it. Now, expressions with parentheses. If we have parentheses, what, would she, what should we do? In an expression with parentheses, first we perform the calculations in the parentheses. Innermost parentheses are done first. So if we have parentheses, we should, we should solve what we have in the parentheses first. Let's see examples. A equal 5 plus 6 times parentheses 7 plus 3. Here we have parentheses, so we're going to solve first of all the parentheses. So we're going to copy everything and solve what we have inside of the parentheses. 7 plus 3 equals 10. Now we have addition and multiplication. What should we solve first? The multiplication. So 5 plus 60. Now we solve 5 plus 60 equals 65. Let's see another example. Here we have B equals 5 plus 6 times 7 plus 3. We have parentheses, so we're going to solve first of all what we have inside of the parentheses. 5 plus 6 and 7 plus 3. So 5 plus 6 equal, equal 11 times 7 plus, plus 3 equals 10. So now we have 11 times 10, it's 110. Let's see the final one. C equals 15 minus 6 plus 7 times 3. What do we have here? We have parentheses inside of a bracket. So we're going to solve the parentheses that we have inside first. 15 minus 6 plus 7, 13 times 3. So don't forget that this number is inside of a bracket. So when we solve it, we should also solve all these expressions first. Now 15 minus 3 equals 2. Now 2 times 3 equal 6. That's it. So, the rule is, first of all, we solve the parentheses. Then, if we have any exponent, then the multiplications, then the divisions, addition and subtractions. So, don't forget this word. It's PEMDAS. PEMDAS means parentheses, exponents, multiplication, divisions, addition, subtractions. Let's see the, this picture here. First of all, we should start with the parentheses. Don't forget that. Then we're going to solve multiplications and divisions from left to right. Then we're going to move on to the addition and subtractions also from left to right. So parentheses, exponent, multiplications, divisions, and addition, subtractions. These two are solved together from left to right, and addition, subtractions also are solved together from left to right. Thank you, my students.